Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to hike to Sit and Peak here in Cleveland National Forest. When I first started doing this, it wasn't a super popular hike, but now it's more popular. And rightly so, the views from the top are really beautiful. You can see the high peaks in San Diego, you can see San Jacinto up to Palos Verdes. And it's about 10 miles round trip, which sounds long, there's 2,000 feet of climbing, but the climbing is all pretty gradual, it sort of rolls along for a while until you get to the very end where there's about a half a mile of pretty steep uphill. But otherwise it's pretty easy and doable by most folks. So please check it out. Don't let the distance scare you if you're not used to hiking that long. It's definitely doable and it's a fun little peak to enjoy. Now, if you wanna do it, as always, I have a full guide on the website, hikingguy.com. I'll talk about parking, logistics, and permits, all of that stuff there. And uh, if you like the video, as always, if you could give me a thumbs up, it's an easy way to say thank you. And thank you to everyone who supports the site uh, in any way whatsoever, even if you're just watching the video and you like it, I appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not make these guides without uh, all of you. So thank you so much for that, and yeah, Let's uh, hit the trail so I can show you this fun little hike. All right, so the hike starts at the candy store in the San Juan uh, Loop Trailhead. Pretty common uh, trailhead for a few different hikes here. And it's right across the street from the candy store right there. We're just gonna cross the street from the parking lot, walk up a little, or down the road a little bit until we see this little turn off. And this is the beginning of the Bear Canyon Trail. Here's a sign telling us we are on the Bear Canyon Trail, or about to be. And we're just going to start hiking from here. You can see there's a little interpretive display. And shortly after that, there's a trail board. Make sure you check that out and see if there are any notices, if anything's going on. But usually it's pretty tame here, pretty much business as usual. Right past that is a sign-in, and uh, it's free. You don't need a special permit or anything. They just want to keep track of the people who are coming in here and uh, just go ahead and sign in there. And then we're gonna get started hiking on the Bear Canyon Trail. Now this is uphill, but not too crazy. You can see some of the boulders in the distance that are common in this part of Cleveland National Forest. And as we climb up, you're gonna get some nice views off to the right over to Los Pinos Peak, which is also a very uh, fun hike. There's a guide for that on hikingguy.com as well if you wanna do Los Pinos. There are some little side trails, but overall it's very easy to know what the main trail is versus a little use trail or cutoff or animal trail. And we're just going to keep on going until we get to the San Mateo Canyon Wilderness. Now everything in here is a wilderness area. This was created in the 60s. Uh, it's supposed to be a land that's sort of pristine the way it was in a, in a primeval state before mankind was here. And you can see right away, there's some really nice oaks and shady areas. We've sort of moved out of the scrub and we're in this lush area. Now this is an important junction on the left is the Morgan Trail. On the right is Bear Canyon. Morgan Trail is a fun one too, if you wanna do that, but you can see there's a little white sign and those white signs are pretty common in this part of Cleveland National Forest. And they're uh, throughout the, the hike, so there's those trail signs all over the place. It's pretty uh, handy to have them around. Now, as we continue to climb, you're going to be able to see San Mateo Peak in the distance off to the left. That's another fun climb. And I also have that on the website. I'll link to that on this guide as well. That's San Mateo Peak. And eventually, we're going to come up to this big intersection. When we get here, we're going to make the hard right to continue on the Bear Canyon Trail. You can go straight there. There's a trail called the Bear Ridge Trail, which sort of parallels this and then rejoins it, but this is the way we're gonna go. And you actually have a little bit of a downhill here. It's gradual, and you can see the peaks in the distance there, but we have this little gradual downhill. Here's a Pigeon Spring, which I, I looked in there a couple times. I've never actually seen water in there, um, but I guess it is a spring. Maybe there's water at some point. But once you hit Pigeon Spring, we're gonna start to climb again. And again, the climb's not too bad. Here's some evidence of the old ranches that were here before it was a wilderness area. We're gonna keep on climbing up until we get to another important junction called the Four Corners. Now at the Four Corners, we're gonna do something that's a little counterintuitive. We're gonna make the hard right. We're gonna kind of double back, uh, sort of the way we came. We're gonna make the hard right, and you'll see a sign here for the Sit and Peak Trail. Now we're on the Sit and Peak Trail. And we're going to take this almost all the way up to the top. And we're also going to get great views here back to the, um, I guess it's the north of here. You'll be able to see Mount Baldy in the distance and 
some of the higher peaks around here. Really, really beautiful sort of, uh, you know, undiscovered area. It's not so popular here in Cleveland National Forest. At the top of that hill, we're going to see some trail signs. We're just going to continue straight on through. We're going to have another little downhill here, too. There are some little side trails uh, at this little crest. We're just going to go straight on the main trail and continue downhill. When you do, the views are beautiful. Even though we're maybe a mile or two away from the highway from the 74, it definitely feels like you are a world away here. You won't be able to hear the traffic noise, but we're going to go downhill a little bit and we're going to kind of come around the bend to the right and you'll be able to see the steep trail that we're going to take right there up to sit and peak which is right in front of us as well at this point we're almost there we're going to pass this water um a little water tank that i think was here for livestock there's actually a helicopter crash site right after this i'll talk about that on the website if you want to check that out a little sad story but uh it is there now, right after that water water tank, you're going to look for the right-hand turn. And now we're going to do the, I don't know, maybe third mile, third or fourth mile or so, steep uphill up to the, um, the peak. And this is really steep. Just take your time. It does split apart and come together at points. And uh, there are nice views as you go up. I always use steep slopes as an excuse to stop and check out the views. But you can kind of get an idea of it from here. It's steep, but it's not long, and trekking poles will definitely help when you're up here. And when you gain the ridge, you're just gonna bear left, and that's sitting peak in front of us right over there. And you can see already, we can see the Pacific and Catalina. Really, really um, great peak up here, really fun, a lot of great views. Now we've got some summit signs up here. There used to be a witness post up here, but the views are spectacular. You can see the Pacific, Catalina, 74 forest fire by Santiago Peak. I'll talk about that in the guide. I have a little recap of what happened when that forest fire started. Then all the way up to Angeles National Forest, San Jacinto. And when you're done here, you just turn around and go back the way you came. If you hang out for a second, I'll show you what this looks like on a map. All right, so here we are at the hike. It's basically an out and back. So we're going to go up from the parking area up to Sitton Peak and back. And you can see Sitton Peak from the parking area too. I'll point it out to you on the guide. But here we are. We're going to cross the street, go up a little bit, go onto the Bear Canyon Trail, and then hike up Bear Canyon. This is where we enter the wilderness area over here. And from here, we're basically going up. This is the junction that we had with um, that hard right to continue in the Bear Canyon. And you can see over here, this is Bear Ridge going around the other side. But we're going to have that little downhill right here. And then once we come to uh, Pigeon Spring, we're going to go uphill again. And then from here, this is where that really hard right-hand turn was, sort of counterintuitive. We climb up from here, and then we go to the saddle. This is where we came back down, and we had the nice views looking into this canyon here. We came around. I marked a helicopter crash with the waypoint so you could check it out. This is where also where the water trough was. Uh, and then right here... You can see the main trail sort of continues on the sit and uh, truck trail, but we're going to go up the steep ridge all the way up to the very top where we have the um, great views. There's Catalina on Google Earth, and you can see all the high peaks here and really get a nice vantage point of, uh, of Cleveland National Forest. Yeah, and then when you're done, you just go back down the way you came to that parking area.